Have you noticed what's been going on with StreamYard lately? Prices have shot up, but features don't seem to have changed. You can't actually see the cost now until you log in. I seem to remember you would pay 25 bucks a month for this all-inclusive streaming platform, and now it seems to be closer to 45 bucks a month for the same thing. No major upgrades, no new AI tools, and definitely no built-in editor. All things I feel I need as a content creator. StreamYard is great for going live, but it does feel stuck there stuck there. Creators today need more. A full studio to create, edit, and repurpose. And the good news is I found an alternative to StreamYard that feels like a major upgrade. Hey there, I'm Mike Russell. My focus has always been on producing high quality audio and video on this channel. I've taught professional audio tools like Adobe Audition for years, but you know what? Things have really changed. Traditional broadcasters are now full-time content creators like me. I used to work in radio for decades, and I found that I needed a platform where I can record locally, sound amazing, and also save lots of editing time, because let's face it, that kind of stuff takes a while. That's when I got into Riverside. It feels like everything I teach about audio quality was built into one platform. Let's log in. Look at this, it actually helps you to focus on creating great content. But how does Riverside actually stream compared to StreamYard? Both platforms, of course, handle professional live streaming really well. But of course, I can go in and click go live here on my Riverside account and actually get started. I select that I'm using headphones, join my studio, and you'll see here up at the top, we've got live stream available to click. Now, if I click that, I can actually make connections like my YouTube channel, my Facebook profile, my LinkedIn profile, my X account, it's all available to me. Now, the best news is you can invite up to 10 guests using a magic link here, and they don't even need to have Riverside installed, it just opens in their browser. It's really cool stuff. The difference as well is how Riverside actually handles your stream behind the scenes. There are key differences, such as StreamYard streaming in 44.1 kilohertz and Riverside streaming in 48 kilohertz, the standard for broadcast video. I've worked in Audition for years at 44.1, but if you're video, you definitely want that extra headroom at 48 kilohertz for audio quality and maximum compatibility. Riverside also matches what StreamYard does with live, but the quality and consistency really stand out. So I'm gonna show you rather than tell you, I'm actually going to select my Facebook profile to go live on like so. That is now added and enabled. And of course I can add multiple platforms if I like. The other thing is it's very brandable, so I can choose to use a grid fill, I can choose full screen just for me, as it's just me presenting, or I can have a picture in picture with a circle like that and actually share my screen. It's really slick the way I can change between features here. I can also click into my brand over here and change everything. I've got this set up just the way I like it with the custom color that I want. I can add my logo if I need. I can also choose a font and the way my name appears as well in the bottom corner, which can be fully customized with a title as well. Let's give it a quick try and click go live. Hello there to those of you watching on Facebook. This is me testing out live streaming. It's very exciting. And it's good to know that the actual recording of this live stream will be higher quality than the stream itself. It uploads in real time continuously as I speak to you and everything is taken care of. So I don't need to worry about a thing. I can also click into settings to see where this is going and the kind of quality I'm saving in, which is absolutely fantastic. And I have so many features available to me while I'm live. And get this, when I want to stop, I just click stop. Now you can see my upload is complete. So it's actually in my studio and it doesn't stop here because I can do things after the live stream by going to my project. But first, have you thrown a like and subscribed yet? If not, hit those buttons now. All right, let's look at some of the features after you've done your live stream inside Riverside. And the first one is built-in AI editing. Look at this, I can click edit and it will take me into an editor. Now, this is the fastest way to get a rough cut of your live stream. Here I am, this is my live stream. You can even see the waveform and the animations. Don't worry, this display on screen is lower quality than the mix out actually will be for speed and ease of use. So when your live stream actually ends, you get a full transcript of everything that was said in the live stream. I can actually play some of this back now. Hello there to those of you watching on Facebook. 
This is me testing out live streaming. It's very exciting. Okay, say for instance, I want to cut out this is me testing out live streaming and just get straight to the point. It's just as simple. All I hit did was highlight it and hit delete on my keyboard. That is insane editing. Let's have a listen. Watching on Facebook. It's very exciting. Wow, that was just an awesome cup. And the best thing is I can actually go back and I can zoom in here. And if I feel like I want to make this cut and edit a little tighter, then I can do so down here by dragging and selecting. Let's play back again on Facebook. It's very exciting. And that's an even better cut in my opinion. So there you go. It's the fastest rough cut you'll ever get. You edit your video by editing text, cut a sentence. It updates the video automatically incredible stuff all in the web browser, but it doesn't stop there. The second most incredible feature post streaming is magic clips. With one click, AI will find your best moments and turn them into shareable shorts for TikTok and Instagram and anywhere else you want to post. So one live show instantly becomes a week's worth of short form content. Just look at this content here that I filmed with my co-host. We have not only got these short little clips, one minute, one minute, four seconds, nearly two minutes, perfect for short form uploading. I can also go in and edit, but I can most importantly share straight here because they've already been labeled with metadata and titles. I can click this and share out to pretty much any platform you can imagine. And finally, number three, what makes this really incredible is you get studio quality post stream audio. Have you ever done the thing where you've done a live stream and then you forgot to record it or make a high quality recording? So you have to download the pixelated low quality version that went out on Facebook or X or whatever. Well, no longer because Riverside over here will store everything you did on your stream. And when you go to export, you can export it as 1080p or even 4K. If you recorded as that, you can remove the watermark, of course, on a paid account, normalize your audio levels. Don't underestimate this to make you sound at a consistent volume. And if there's excessive background noise, you can remove that too before exporting your video to use anywhere. So even if you have had live connection hiccups, you have the perfect 4K video with 48 kilohertz audio saved to your disc, and you can polish it up even more by using things like Magic Audio. Under AI Tools, you'll see here Magic Audio is available. And what this does, if I were to apply it and switch it on, it would make my microphone sound better. Now, obviously, I'm recording on a decent mic, but sometimes guests don't do that. This automatically cleans up the audio. No need for EQ, compression, or anything like that. Here's something I filmed on my iPhone. Let's play it. This is terrible quality audio because it's filmed on my iPhone. Now we'll go to AI Tools, we'll go to Magic Audio and apply it. This is terrible quality audio because it's filmed on my iPhone. Let's put it up to 52%. This is terrible quality audio because it's filmed on my iPhone. So you'll notice the quality of the voice is much better and room echo removed too. So there you go. In conclusion, the beauty is that not only can you go live to one platform, but you can go live to multiple platforms, Facebook, X, LinkedIn, YouTube, all at the same time. With StreamYard, when the stream ends, your work begins. You have to download, you have to import, you have to edit, you have to export, and even maybe improve the quality as well. With Riverside, the entire chain happens right there in one one place. So you can stop throwing around five tools in the air like I'm used to doing quite a lot and actually spend time on creating content. It's simplified my life so much. No more management of files because that's all in the cloud. And Riverside isn't just an alternative to StreamYard. It's actually an upgrade, in my opinion. Try it for free with the link down below in the description. And you can hit subscribe and watch the next video YouTube is showing you right now. Thanks.